pleasant day to each and everyone. I am Teacher Claire for Ecom Channel once again and our video lesson today will center on the discussion of how you could write an effective theoretical framework under Chapter 1. So what are you waiting for? Watch this. Before you start your research, you must explore what theories and models other researchers have already developed relevant to your own study. The goal of a theoretical framework in Chapter 1 is to present and explain this information that you gathered in accordance with your study. There may be many different theories about your topic. So the theoretical framework also involves evaluating, comparing, and selecting the most relevant ones. Meaning to say, you don't have to mention all the theories you have read, which seem to be connected to your research. You may simply choose one as the most relevant. It also pays to know that when we say theory, we are referring to one's assumption, a guess, or a belief which is verified and confirmed through scientific studies, rigid observation, repeated experimentation, or data analysis. Look at this example. The bold text is the researcher's theory. As you can see in this example, the theory is telling us that learners possibly see the online modality of learning as something that they fail to control due to many factors which affect their performance eventually. Thus, is what this study wants to resolve to help the learners understand more on how they may control their own phases of learning in the online class. It is also important that you cite the source of your data as showcased by the use of the index citation Joaquin et al. 2019 in the example provided. Always remember that theories help you frame your research within a clearly defined field because through it, you make the reader aware of the assumption you make. Further, you should also know that a research theory is formulated for three fallible reasons to explain, to predict, and to understand a phenomenon, issue, concern, or a problem. In the example, the theory stated may help the researcher explains the perceptions of the students towards the implementation of the online mode of learning as one among the learning deliveries and understand how challenging things might have been for them as well as predict what should be done in the near future to ensure that learners develop the skills they need to develop. And that is a simple example of research theoretical framework. For the discussion of the next part of Chapter 1, watch the next video lesson. Thank you for listening and studying with me, my Ecom learners. I'll have you again in the next video lesson. God bless. Keep on learning and always wear a happy heart.